Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my absolute favorite settings for the Canon R6. So I've actually been using the Canon R6 since December of 2021. So I've been using it about four months now, and that's given me enough time to sort of play around with all the various settings and figure out which ones I like and which ones I don't like. And today we're going to be going through all of the settings that I have currently on my Canon R6. And, and these are the settings I use for all my videos and all the B-roll I shoot and absolutely everything. Sometimes obviously settings are going to change depending on scenarios. And so I'll point that out. But let's just jump to a close up of my camera and we can start talking about the actual settings themselves. So now we actually have the Canon R6 in front of us. We want to make sure we have the toggle up here around to the video mode, and then we want to jump into the menu. So the first thing we want to change is this shooting mode up here. We want to set that to manual because we want to have full control over how our image looks. Now, the next thing on the list you're going to want to change is the resolution. So I use different resolutions depending on what I'm shooting, but inside here you have the option to choose between full HD, or 4K. And there's tons of different frame rates you can use. There's 60 FPS, 30 FPS, and 24 FPS. Now, I did primarily use 24 FPS for, you know, all my my static videos of me with a tripod talking. However, I've just found it to be a little bit choppy, especially when I'm moving my hands. And if you add any motion or movement into the shot, it just looks too choppy to me. And so I've actually started using 4K at 30 right now. It might be due to YouTube's compression algorithm. I'm not too sure, but I just think 4K 30 looks better on YouTube. And then we also have 4K 60. This is really great if I wanna shoot something knowing that I'm gonna slow it down later on so I can switch over to 4K 60. Now you may be curious why you have duplicates. So you have two of each resolution and two of each frame rate. That's because you've got light IPB and standard. So light is basically a more compressed version. I normally just stick to standard just because you're getting a little bit better quality, you do get less record time, but I'm willing to sacrifice that. Now jumping over, this page doesn't really have anything we need to change. In terms of on page three, I do use custom white balance. I just set it to K, which is Kelvin, and then you can adjust the Kelvin level to adjust your, your white balance. So you can have it more warm or more white. And I just kind of use a rough reference of I to determine the white balance rather than actually set it the proper way. I know I should, but I normally can tweak it a tiny bit if it's a little bit wrong in post. And um, yeah, that's pretty much how I have uh, the white balance set. And then down here I use Canon log settings. So I'm actually shooting in C log three. So C log three was introduced in an update to the Canon R6 and it's just a way nicer flat color profile than C-Log. C-Log 3 is way easier to, to color grade, and C-Log 3 is just gonna give you a better overall image than the standard color profile that comes out of your camera because the in-profile camera is gonna crush your blacks, it's gonna blow out your highlights, and if you record in a more flat profile like C-Log 3, you're gonna get a more balanced image. It's gonna give you more to work with in post in terms of color grading and bringing up the shadows and getting more detail retained in your shots. So I've also turned on view assist because it's really hard to, to sort of expose correctly if you don't actually see what the image is gonna look like after you've, you've color graded it. So I do have view assist on. And then after that, that's pretty much all the, the main camera settings. Now we're going to jump over to the autofocus settings. So on the first page here, I'm actually using autofocus tracking. This is because it's pretty much me filming people or myself. And so I want it to track my face. I want it to keep my, myself in focus. And so I use the, the face tracking. So something really great is you can go down here and adjust it between people, animals, vehicles, which is really great if you're trying to, to capture some pan shots of vehicles or something, then you can go and use the autofocus that locks onto cars. And then there's also this eye detection, which I use, which is really great if you're vlogging or just filming yourself in general, it's gonna make it a lot easier to keep yourself in focus. Other than just the tracking autofocus mode, I also use the spot autofocus. This is good if I know there's something in the center of the frame that I wanna keep in focus, then I can just put it on the spot mode. And if I'm filming a product or some sort of device or whatever it may be, then I know that that's in the middle of the screen, it's gonna be in focus. Now, a problem with the Canon R series cameras is a lot of the cheaper RF lenses, 
They don't actually have an autofocus to manual focus switch, and so you're gonna have to dive in the settings whenever you wanna go ahead and lock off the focus. And I don't wanna do that, so I've actually set up a preset button here. So this one right here, and this actually allows me to go ahead and lock the autofocus server. So if I autofocus on something and I wanna keep the focus, I just press that button and it goes ahead and pauses it, and I know it's just gonna be locked on the subject that I focused on. Now in the settings, there is some options to adjust the, the servo speeds and also the sensitivity. So in terms of the speed, I have it maxed out because I kinda just want it to be as fast as possible. I've also got it as always on. And then for the sensitivity, I've got it down to minus three because primarily I wanna lock onto some sort of subject or you know some sort of object I'm filming. And so I don't want it to be responsive and fluctuating between different objects in and out of focus. I want it to be locked. So I've got it set all the way down there. So that's gonna help reduce the overall breathing when you're focusing. If you guys are curious how I actually go ahead and take this C-Log3 footage and color grade it, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to show you how I go ahead and actually color grade videos like this. And um, yeah, I think it could be pretty, pretty fun for me to make, pretty interesting for you guys. So let me know down below if that's something that you wanna see. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's the settings I currently am using for the Canon R6. If you're enjoying like, the videos I'm doing here on the channel, definitely do hit the like button down below and comment down below. Honestly, there's nothing more motivational than you guys interacting with me. It's seriously the thing that just drives me to make more and better videos throughout the future. So um, if you guys could do that, that would be much appreciated. But I will see you later. Peace.